City Council member Lisa Herbold wants to increase the budget for gun violence prevention from $1.5 million to $2.1 million. That's about a 30% increase. Now, families of gun violence victims say they don't have a perfect solution, but they know something needs to change. We have our days. <laughs> he acts just like his dad. Raising a toddler is hard, but it's harder when you're doing it alone. He had just graduated, I think it was like 30 days before he got killed. He had just graduated. 18 year old Adriel Webb was shot and killed at a gas station in the central district of Seattle two years ago, just two months before Kayla Travis Jackson gave birth to their son, Kamari. <laughs> he doesn't know his dad at all. Yeah, he doesn't know his dad. He's only going to know him through pictures and memories. And that alone breaks my heart. No one has been arrested for Adriel's murder. Kayla hopes for justice to be served and for changes to be made to prevent further gun violence in Seattle. It's hard, but I would say to be more hands on with the community to reach out to people that are in need, see what the real problems are. She also thinks getting guns off the streets would help. It's not OK and it needs to stop for children's sake. And more of these lives are being lost. Data from the Seattle Police Department shows shootings have increased over the past year. So far this year, there have been 34 deadly shootings and 123 shootings with injuries. Last year, there were 26 deadly shootings and 101 shootings with injuries. To police officers, these are just another case. They're not just another case to us. These are our family members. These are our loved ones. These are our children's fathers. So although raising a child can be hard. Lay down, lay down, lay down. You see me. Kayla is raising her son Kamari to know who his dad was and to know violence is never the answer. I just hope that he follows his heart and he does what's right at all times. The Seattle City Council will discuss budget changes on Monday and they're expected to finalize the budget on November 29th. Now, as for Kayla, she's found support through a group called Rise that helps Seattle mothers who have lost loved ones to gun violence. Reporting in Seattle, Connor Board, King 5 News.